now, let's see, where do I go back to the Hankins? Oh, while in 1914, the war broke out. And so, um, Tantla Cherna wanted to get married. My father wanted Tantla Cherna to get married before the war broke out, but she wanted to wait till later on. So her, as it was, Uncle Ira had to go into the service, and she didn't get married till later on. And they couldn't come to America at that time. In the meantime, in 19, that was 1914 when war broke out. So in 1913, Uncle Saul came over. And then in 1916, uh, Uncle Morris uh, came over by way of Japan because America was already, the war was already on. And mm -hmm. so he had to come by way of Japan. But another story was, uh, oh God, where do I go with these mice? <laughs> Um, they, uh, while they were in Russia, a war broke out in 1917, 18. They couldn't send any letters or anything, but about 1921, I guess it was, I was about 10, 11 years old then, and, uh, no, I wasn't even that old, but then I was 10. They said that my father and Uncle Sam and all could send packages. So what they did was, they used to come, so I begged my mother, I had to be in bed every night, my sisters and I and brother, we had to be in bed at eight o'clock. So I begged my mother and father, let me stay up to see how this is being, if the fact, making up the package. The package was 21 inches long. That's all they could send. And my father had brought some stuff from the store, a suit, and Uncle, Nate, Uncle uh, Saw had already, already going into the regular shoe department, shoe business, <coughs> retail shoes. And so he opened up the sole of the shoe and he put money in it. My father took a spool of thread, big spool of thread, and opened up the top label and put money in it. And they wrote letters, don't open up, don't sell anything. So they knew they had to look for money. And they found money and this is how they lived over there. And that was the part of the Hankin family. Of course, later on, uh, see after Uncle Morris came, uh, then, so what happened in 1923, um, they started, say, lift the quotas and they could start coming to America. So the first one to come over was, um, as long as Aunt Bertha was single and Uncle Nathan was single, they came as children of my grandmother and grandfather, and they didn't have to sit in Germany. So they took them, I think I have the name of the ship that they came on. Oh, Derenflinger, Derenflinger. And they landed in Boston, and that was in 1923. Bubby and Zadie, by the way, were born in 1865, and Bubby died in 1948, and Zadie died in 1945, and they're both buried on Shirazine Cemetery right here in Baltimore. Anyway, so um, they let them come right away. Uncle, that was Uncle Nathan, Aunt Bertha, my Zadie and Bubby. They were the first ones to come on that Aliyah. The others all got out of Russia and sat in Germany for two and a half years. We had to feed them and clothe them, and they could not work. In the meantime, Tante Lecherny got pregnant over there. So the next Dolly I, after two years or so, uh, she had Debbie. My cousin Debbie was born in Germany, and she came over the next with um, Uncle Ari and um, Betty and Rose. She had lost a little boy in Russia. But in the meantime, Betty and Rose came with her father and mother. Now they had to leave Debbie in Germany because she was a German citizen. So in the meantime, Marlene, you want to sit down? Stop it a minute. Uh, Debbie was left in Germany with Tante Ruckel and she was engaged that time to Uncle Albert. So they came up and brought Debbie over. It must have been about maybe six months later. So by the time 1926 rolled around to 1923, it was two and a half years that they were there in Germany. And Betty came home with a dress that I had sent her that my father had made me. I'll never forget a scotch plaid dress with a little bolero jacket and red buttons. And that's what Betty came to America with. Now, Bubby landed and um, came in Simcastera night <clears throat> at Pennsylvania Station right here in Baltimore. Nobody had cars, so we rented cabs, and we went down to get them. My poor sister Belle had burnt her foot, and she couldn't go. She was sitting in the rocking chair, 
and she almost lost her ankle. Well, that was another story of our family life. It wasn't so pleasant. But anyway, Bobby and Zadie came that night with Aunt Bertha and Uncle Nathan. And that night, <laughs> Bobby left the sitter in the cab. So the next morning, the cabman came, brought it up to the house. Well, then we bought, the, my father and Uncle Sam bought a house on 2263 Madison Avenue. And that's where Bobby and Zadie lived with Aunt Bertha and Uncle Nathan. And then when Tom Cherney came, she was on the second floor for just a short time because then Uncle, she went over, Uncle uh, Ira being a shoemaker, went over to Gay Street and helped Uncle, uh, Uncle Sal out in his shoe repair shop. And then of course he went into his, I took over once he learned to speak English a little bit. And so the family more or less was settled. And Uncle Morris was a shoemaker and he went over to York Road. And uh, where else do I go from there? I think the Pankins were pretty well set. That 